Layered navigation makes it easy to find products based on category, price range or any other available attribute. The layered navigation is visible on the left column of the search results page and on the category pages. So whenever a user accesses your category or the search result page, the customer would be able to see a complete list of products within that particular category. But if he wants to further filter out the products there within that particular category, then he can make use of the layered navigation there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to configure the layered navigation or how to enable or disable the layered navigation for the categories there and the rest of the options as well for the product attributes, how we can set up the configuration for the product attributes there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the front end and let's see the rest of the workflow there and how the admin would be able to configure the product attribute properties as well. So here I am at the storefront right now as you can see and here I'm on one of the categories that's the watches category it can be any other category as well. So for this demonstration I've added a uh, category that's the watches category and I've added few products within the same as you can see here. Now here on the category page on the left hand side you can see that we have the shopping options wherein we have the op uh, product attributes being visible as you can see like price choose color, activity, washable, material and for each uh, attribute we have the attribute values as well. For example, for material we have nylon and polyester, for washable we have yes or no, for activity we have gym and travel, for choose color we have green and for the price we have the price range itself. So this is how the layered navigation appears on the category page on the uh, side left hand side column of, this, uh, of the category pages. The same gets visible on the search result pages as well. So here you can see that I had search for red t-shirt and the layered navigation appears in the left column of the search result page as well on the left hand side. Here we have the activity, washable, material and category as well as you can see here itself. So that's how the uh, layered navigation gets visible to the customers. Now, uh, whenever a user chooses a category, like for example, here in this example, for example, if we choose watches category, the initial results that are displayed to the customer are uh, include basically all of the products in the category itself. The listing, uh, and here you can see that the complete uh, list of uh, products within this particular category are being displayed to the customer there. Now, uh, this listing can be filtered further by choosing a specific color, size, material or a combination of the values as well. So for example, if I go here and go to the activity and I tap here for the uh, travel activity products, I can choose the product attribute and here you can see that we, we have two t-shirts that are having the product attribute activity with the, uh, with the option for the attribute as travel. I can go with the, for example, I can choose color as well or I can go with the price range as well. Uh, I can choose and according to that multiple uh, combination of values of the product attributes can be applied within the layered navigation to further filter out the particular product within that particular category itself. So now let me remove this particular uh, layered navigation uh, filter option that I applied on this particular category by tapping on the clear all option. So here you can see that here we are having uh, activity that has gym and travel, washable yes or no. If I go with washable yes, let's see we have two results within that. We have two t-shirts that are washable uh, there. Having these two t-shirts are having the product attributes as washable. Now if I open one of the product pages, for example, let's uh, go with the red t-shirt here. Let me open the red t-shirt and let me scroll down. Now here under the more information section, you can see that we have assigned different attributes or the product attributes to this particular product itself like activity. We have uh, multiple uh, values for the same like gym and travel. We have material, nylon and polyester. We have washable as yes. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to enable and disable the layered navigation for a category, how to set up the property of a product attribute to be displayed in the layered navigation. And apart from that, kindly note that the layered navigation is only available for anchor categories. 
the catalog input type property of each attribute must be set to yes no drop down multi select or price and to make the attribute filterable using layer navigation property of each attribute must, must be set to filterable with results or filterable with no results now for example here if i go to the uh, home page once again and to the category that's the watches category here you can see that here for uh, the activity we have said uh, the uh, what we say as using lead navigation property of the attribute as filterable with results so the particular things are being displayed here and for the washable we have said the using lead navigation property of the attribute to display with no results as well so that's why here we can see that for yes we have two search results but for no we have none results but that is also being displayed here to the customers itself now let's get ahead and let's see how uh, basically we can enable or disable the layered navigation for a particular category in the admin backend panel for that i'll just be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username password and tapping on the login button so let me enter the username the password and let me tap here on the sign in button thereafter now after we have successfully logged into the admin backend panel to enable the layered navigation for a particular category what we can do is we can navigate to catalog and categories and here you will find the complete list of categories that we have within the store itself so here you can see on the left hand side we have different categories like the default category what is category harry and david my animals so on and so forth so for the watches category if i want to enable the uh, layered navigation so i'll select the watches category as you can see here let me close this out uh, and after selecting the watches category for example here we are on the watches category and we are able to see these uh, layered navigation filterable options here or the product attributes being displayed using which we can filter out the products within a particular category there so what i'll do is i'll just select the particular category and then go to display settings and here what i have to do is i have to enable this anchor and i have to save this particular category thereafter after i have enabled this anchor uh, option as yes then the particular filterable options or the product attributes would be visible within the, in the layered navigation as you can see on the left hand side here so for example if i disable this and i save this particular category and after saving this category if i go to the front end and if i refresh this particular what is category here for example you'll see that the layered navigation would be removed so the layered navigation has been removed from the left hand side as you can see here so now what i do is uh, to enable the layered navigation for the watches category i'll again go to the display settings and i'll make the anchor as yes and i'll tap here on the save button thereafter after the category has been saved i'll be able to go back to the particular category there and if i refresh it up you'll see that the layered navigation would be again visible for the customers to select that as per their own requirement so here we are having different product attributes like activity washable material and within each of the product attributes we are having the option values for the same and we can see the number of search uh, results there for each of the uh, uh, what we say as the values there that we have selected so for example if i go with the nylon uh, only the nylon products with uh, the nylon uh, product attribute would be displayed so the red t-shirt is having the nylon there within it so if i open the red t-shirt i scroll down here we can see that the material is nylon right for the polyester we have two for the nylon we have one that's the uh, red t-shirt there so this was how we can enable or disable the layered navigation for a particular category now uh, coming to the other section here here you can see that here we have the product attributes like activity material and washable that i have created now as i have already told you that the catalog input uh, type property of each attribute must be set to yes no drop down multi select or price and only then we can make use of those product attributes within the layered navigation there so uh, let me go ahead and let me go to the admin backend panel and let me navigate to stores and product under attributes so here for example here we are having the activity product attribute having multiple options like gym and travel 
So here I'm having the activity product attribute. Now let me open it up. So after you have created the particular product attribute, what you need to do is you need to go to the storefront properties. And but before going to the storefront properties, can you know that for the uh, properties here, here you have to for the attribute uh, properties, you have to select the catalog input type for the store owner as it should be between yes, no, drop down, multi select or price only then it would be uh, available for the late navigation there. So after you have selected this up, what you need to do is you need to go to the storefront properties for the particular pro product attribute and here you have to choose use in layered navigation and here you can choose it to set as filterable with results or filterable with no results there. Apart from that, you can also make use of the this particular product attribute in the search result navigation. So as I'd shown you when we had searched for the particular red t-shirt on the storefront on the search results page as well we were able to see the particular product attribute within the layered navigation there so for displaying it on the search results uh, layered navigation section as well for this particular attribute you can set this option to yes as well so what you need to do is you have to set use in layered navigation as filterable with it uh, with results or filterable with no results and you can also set up use in search result navigation as yes and then you need to tap here on the save attribute button to save that particular attribute right so here you can see that we had uh, created the attribute as uh, activity attribute and we had the different values of the attribute like gym and travel and we had assigned this attribute to the default attribute set and then we had created a product with the uh, respective product attribute option uh, being selected there as gym and travel now whenever the customer comes to the storefront and goes to the particular category like a watches category for example he'll see the layered navigation on the left hand side panel here and from there he'll be able to select the particular attribute to filter out the particular products as per the requirement initially when you tap on the category all of the products of the category are being displayed but to further uh, filter out the listing of the products you can make use of the layered navigation there for example if you are choosing price for example 100 to 199 then the products between 100 to 199 would be displayed as you can see then if you are choosing the activity as gym then the price and the activity would be applicable and you can see it's between uh, 100 to 199 dollars and the activity is gym that's the product attribute assigned to this particular product itself right so this was how uh, we can set up the properties uh, and under the properties how we can set uh, select the catalog input type for the store owner as yes no drop down multi select or price and how we can uh, basically uh, what we say as set the property of the product attribute to be displayed in the layered navigation by setting the option that is using layered navigation as filterable with results and filterable with no results there so yes that was much about the layered navigation and how to configure it and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding how we can enable and disable the layered navigation for a category and how we can set the property of the product attribute uh, to be displayed in the layered navigation there apart from that i showed you the working at the storefront as well how we can filter out the products using the product attribute values on the category pages using the layered navigation as well so if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding this particular functionality, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.